Okay, it's my first um, update on the 49 Ford Coupe. Um, here's the little box that came with it. It actually builds into a kit, a little, little miniature kit box. It's identical to the uh, big box. Pretty cool. <clears throat> anyway, just thought I'd show that. See, I've done some work on the motor. Uh, a lot of it's still just dry fit on here because I'm going to strip some of the chrome. It's a little too much chrome for me. Um, I did build a distributor. I scratch built a, a distributor out of some electrical parts and things. And, and I made some wires. Um, I've got some little harness attachments that I made. Um, and drilled and inserted the wires into the block. Um, and done some painting and fitting. I'm going to have to shim up the blower just a little bit because the uh, mounting pins for the belt drive here don't quite line up. So I'm going to have to do a little little work on that too. Uh, I'm going to leave the valve covers chromed. And this is that Cadillac V8. I'm not real familiar with that engine so I'm going to have to look at some more pictures to kind of, if I can add a little more detail to it, I'm, I plan to do that. So it's just kind of dry fit right now. But uh, it's uh, a good a good ways done. Okay, move that out of the way. Uh, the body. I did a lot of work on this body, um, trying to get everything nice and smooth and blemish free. Uh, I actually put a lot more into this body than the engine. Um, there was like several layers where it needed work. Uh, one bad area was around the trunk. Uh, this area here. Uh, it was just the way it was molded, this lower section stuck way out from the trunk. Uh, and I ended up sanding that down a lot before I even primed it. I went back in and rescribed the, the trunk lines. And I uh, got that all smoothed in and primed and then a little sanded just a little more to blend it in. Um, and while I was at it I went ahead and, and cleaned up some of the lines on the doors and things to sharpen them up a little bit. It, the, the, the detail kind of faded in and out on a lot of it so I I tried to clean that up as best I could. I went around everything, the trunk lines. <clears throat> the hood was a terrible fit. Um, there was a lot of work to get this hood to fit in there nice and smooth and fit everything. And uh, just to show, I ended up having to add a serious amount of extra plastic here. Um, the hood was warped. I had to try to straighten it out a little bit. And then I did some sanding on it. Uh, and had to do some sanding here and there until I could finally get that hood to fit in there real nice and pretty. Uh, of course, I cut the I cut the hood opening out and mounted the scoop so I can so that'll be ready for paint and uh, and have to mount the hinges. I'm tempted to do working hinges. We'll see how that goes. Um, this section here, all this is a separate piece from the body. And it was not the best fit either. Um, there was big gaps, and then it was not as much a gap on this side and whatnot. So I've started filling in and sanding. I want to blend this all in just nicely. And of course, there was seam, you know, seam lines and things like that. So I worked a lot on this body, trying to get, trying to get it, you know, and, and just looking better. And uh, I cut these wheel wells out. Um, yeah, most of the builds I've seen of this car is, is like a low rider or a sled type. I haven't seen any really that are more of a street car look to this because it makes a great sled. So I just to be a little different, I'm trying to go with a street, you know, a, a street look. So I did end up cutting these out on both sides and sanding and getting that nice and smooth and trying to get a profile that looks, that's going to look nice with the wheels and stuff. Um, I think that's all I've done, other than a lot of sanding and smoothing and stuff on the body. I'm going to hit it with another, just a light coat of primer, and mainly just to get this part nice and smooth, you know, make sure that that comes out smooth when I paint it. Uh, let's see, the wheels were a lot of trouble. Um, these rims stick way out. Uh, they, they didn't even look right. I mean, if it would have been on a real car, the rims were sticking out like an inch from the tire. 
but then if you try to push it in too much it just pops right through the hole so I ended up having to do some modification on the rim itself on the inside to where this would sit down in the tire without popping through the tire so I ended up modifying the whole inside of that rim and had to do that on all four tires um, and the distance between this piece and this piece was too was also too wide so it was a loose fit in the tire so yeah these old models they're a little bit of work um, I'm surprised how much work I've had to put into it just to that it doesn't look like I've done anything but it's been a lot of work um, you know, anybody that says airplane models and whatnot are harder than cars, I tell you, I, I'm, I'm beginning to think otherwise. These cars are, can be a lot of work. But uh, let's see where else. I've, one other thing I've done so far is I've, I've, I've sanded and, and cleaned up the, the framework here. Uh, there's a big blemish here I've got to fill in. It's just something, a, a bad spot in the mold. And I scratch built some shocks. Uh, out of some parts from uh, some rivets and another piece and then I soldered a little pin on the ends here and then added this styrene and then there's another little actually a pin that comes out of there and goes down into the axle so these are these are on there um, I still you know I have to paint the housing and all that but I wanted to get that kind of I just want to do some scratch building uh, I want to run a gas line or fuel line and possibly the tires are just on there. I don't have the inside of the hub yet, um, but I may try to just do some brake lines and things like that. I, I know I got to add some detail if I'm going to have any chance at, uh, you know, in this contest. So I've got a little ways to go. I've got a lot done. It doesn't seem like it, but I've got a lot of time in it so far. Um, you know, scratch building these two shocks took a while, but it was I like doing that. That was fun. So, uh, and it's good learning experience for me. So that's pretty much the progress I've made. <clears throat> uh, I mean, I've gone through a lot of parts and cleaned them up and primed them and, and then all, but I haven't made much progress on them, so to speak. Um, I have, I think I've decided on my paint scheme for tentative paint scheme. I'm going to go with a, a purple overall, um, sort of an iridescent purple color. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to go I'm thinking of doing ghost flames along the front of the car uh, this was just a rough cut quick cut out I did in masking tape just to do a quick just to try out with some colors and uh, it's gonna be a lot less prominent in this color when I do the flame I want it to be where you see the flame in the light but it's not real obvious as it is on this sheet so it'll be kind of a what's called a ghost flame um, that's my plan and hopefully that part works out good otherwise I'll be stripping paint and <laughs> but I've got plenty of time so that's kind of my idea on the paint scheme and uh, I think that's about it the only other thing I can say about this car is that uh, none of the numbers match the instructions or anything like that you know part 13 on the plans might be part 43 on the sprue and <clears throat> I'm not sure why. I mean, just the numbers, nothing matches. So you basically, I had to just go by the the photos or the drawings, and I had to go through all the parts and kind of figure out what was what. Uh, there was a lot of plus. There's all these extra parts, so it took me a while to sift through all the parts and find what works with what and what version and and all that. No big deal. Uh, you know, I've pretty well got it figured out now, and. Uh, so that's uh, the progress so far on the 49 Ford Coupe.